Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got a special one. We're gonna go through how you can earn more XP to get through those inning programs just a little bit quicker here in the game uh, this year. And then how you can also earn more parallel XP for your players to get those done faster because we all want those rewards and we all want those better cards. Why wouldn't we? So, uh, but you all do me a favor as always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I think it's... It's mystically flying above my head. But uh, all right, so let's get right into it, man. Here's a few ways that you can earn more XP uh, because we all, we all, like I said, we all want to earn more XP in the game, obviously. So the first thing I want to show you is daily moments. Don't forget about your daily moments. They get kind of forgotten about. They get hidden here within, uh, within the screen. So you're going to go to these daily moments like a lot of us have already earned uh, the, final, the final player, the final card that was in here right now, the Robbie Alomar. But don't forget there's stuff past it, man. You can get a ball as a habit pack. You can pull a trout in this. Who knows, man? Do it. Do your, do your daily moments, you know? Uh, and then uh, don't forget about this as well. Now, you will still get daily moments as well after you finish all 10 of these. Uh, I believe there's going to be more probably for May uh, just uh, because we're going to have more of it the month to play. But, uh, but there are ones here still after you finish. And if you finish these, you can still go earn some XP as well. So don't forget about those uh, just to be able to go earn a little bit more XP. Also... Conquest, conquest, conquest. I cannot preach it enough, you guys. I, I know I know, conquest can be boring for some, and if you're one of those, that's okay. Look, I, I completely get it, but it is really beneficial to roll through these conquests. When you're trying to get through the inning programs, obviously, we had a new one come out yesterday, this first inning umbrella one. You definitely want to roll through these, uh, these conquest maps and get them done. Just knock them out, man. It took me like an hour, uh, maybe two hours to get this done, so it, it wasn't too long. And, uh, you know, you can, it wasn't an hour, it was two hours, it was definitely two hours, I'm sorry. Uh, but you can get through it pretty quick, um, you know, and, and it's worth it, man. You get the, the 10,000 XP, you get some packs along the way. Who knows? You might pull a diamond. You never know. I mean, look, I, I know that most people might not have great pa pack luck. I don't have the best pack luck all the time either, but you just never know what you can get. There's also this first inning diamond one too, if you're looking for more XP and you haven't done it yet. There's 10,000 here and 10,000 up here. It's 20,000 XP, man, you're just sitting on. So I am guarantee you can get somewhere in the program with that. All right, so that's one way that you can do it. Another way, another way is going to be uh, to go into uh, your showdowns, man. You want to get your showdowns done. Showdowns are very important, obviously, as far as getting inning programs finished. 35,000 XP is what you're going to, or is it, how much is it that you actually get for the showdown? Let's check. Yeah, I was right. 35,000 XP. That's what it is. I just wanted to make sure there, but yeah, if you, if you finish this first inning showdown, man, beat the boss, uh, take an hour out of your day, 35,000 XP. So I've just shown you 55,000 XP and how to make it right there. 20 from the, from the uh, conquest. And here's 35 right there. Uh, but don't forget about, don't forget about your player programs. You've also got player programs to address. All right, player programs not only are good for just earning XP while you're playing, and all of this is the conquest games. You're gonna, you know, all of all of that. You wanna you wanna use those because you're going to be able to parallel your cards a little bit faster too. You know, play those games on rookie. Get those get those stat boosting games in. You know, um, you know, throw off your timing for a little bit. Who cares, man? It's gonna make your cards better overall in the process. So that's really cool. Do these player programs, though. Check it out for the first inning player programs right here. We had Eric Davis and Houston Street. When you complete these, you actually get, I believe it's 35,000 XP for these as well. Let's go check. Yes. All right. So it is. It is 35,000 XP just for completing the Eric Davis program right here. So that's insane, right? I mean, I mean, that's 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 just nuts. All right. That's 90,000 XP. I've just showed you exactly how to get right there. Uh, so go get these done. If you've forgotten about them or you, you got overwhelmed with the game at launch, I completely understand. There's a lot to cover. And you might forget about some of these things. So you want to make sure to go in and cover these. This All-Star Houston Street card just came out the other day. One of the best pitchers you can have in your bullpen right now in the game. I think it's 124 hits per nine on this card. So awesome card. Another 35,000 XP. So now we're at 125,000 XP. I've just showed you exactly how to get. And just spending a matter of a couple hours doing it. Now you can also get 50,000 XP if you collect the uh, the collection here for eight of the 42 series cards. That's awesome. That'd be 260,000. And then another 15 if you collect this right here. Now I haven't collected the prospects. I didn't do that one, but I have finished the actual program already. Uh, so I'm at the very end of the program. I finished it last night, 650,000 points. So I know what I'm talking about, man. I know how you can get all these extra points. 
Just do all this stuff. If you complete it, it's all there for a reason. They're giving you plenty of opportunities to be able to do it. Now, let's talk about parallels. Getting parallels completed a little bit faster. Obviously, that's something that we all want to do. Uh, it's a big trigger thing for us this year. And we're all interested in getting it done because uh, getting a couple parallels, uh, you know, to that Super Fractor 5 are awesome. I've got Griffey there. I've got Fernando Tatis there right now. Working on the others, obviously. But how are you going to get them there a little bit quicker? Well, if you're on next-gen consoles, all right, next-gen consoles, this is where it's going to be a little bit beneficial, beneficial for you. I, don't worry, I've got you covered if you're on current-gen as well. But for next-gen consoles, what you're going to do is go into Stadium Creator. You're going to take your stadium that you've made and, and raise the elevation. You won't be able to bring the fences in and make them super short, all right? You're going to have to go with 150 different templates for the outfield wall. I know they said you can not play, you can play offline, you just can't play online with them. Well, unfortunately, Diamond Dynasty is still considered online all throughout the mode. That's why when servers go down or something like that happens, you can't access Diamond Dynasty because your cards are online. So when you go into a play versus computer game, you won't be able to use your created stadium that you've juiced with, this, with the walls moved all the way in and lowered all the way to the floor and you won't be able to do that, all right? So you're going to have to do it uh, a little bit different. Raise the elevation to 5,279 feet. That is the max. It's the absolute max. I covered it in the uh, the Creative Stadium video as well. But raise it to that. I told you guys not to do it for online play. Don't be cheesy and play with the stadium online. Don't only take the stadium with this elevation offline. It's 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 You won't have fun, trust me. All right, uh, if you do it online. But offline, man, you're going to have a blast, all right? You're absolutely going to blast the ball off. Raising the elevation makes the air thinner. It makes the ball fly out. That's why Coors Field is known as one of the uh, uh, best home run hitting parks in all of baseball. Now, if you're on current gen consoles, I get it. You can't do that, man. You don't have create a stadium. What are you going to do? You're going to play at Coors Field. That's what you're going to play. Coors Field, Ship It is one of the, uh, Ship It Stadium is one of the uh, stadiums in the minor league uh, parks. I hate that stadium so much, but play it, man. It's, uh, it's short and uh, the elevation's high. The ball will fly. And uh, and Laughing Mountain Park also the elevation is very high. It's kind of known as the the Stoner Park, man, in the uh, in the uh, MLB the Show uh, uh, community. But uh, yeah, the walls are 420. It's like fake ivy on the wall and stuff. Everything's billboards. It's not real. Like uh, all the trees and stuff are fake. And uh, I mean, it's all fake. But you know what I'm saying. And uh, and so anyway, Laughing Mountain. That's a really good one. The elevation's really high there as well. So. And uh, you might be when you play, who knows? But uh, so anyway, you guys have a lot of fun with that. That's how you can get a lot more XP in the game. Uh, collect your stuff too. Uh, look, I know it doesn't show in collections that you are actually getting uh, XP and stuff for doing some of these collections. I've got almost the National League complete here. Used to show over here on the side, it would show that you would get stubs and it would show that you would get XP. It doesn't show the XP, but I swear the XP actually boosts a little bit because I know mine has gone up. Uh, every time I've locked in one. So I'm not sure how much it's getting. Um, maybe it's a glitch or a little error or something like that. So maybe we need a little confirmation from SDS on that, but uh, that's what it appears to me. So make sure that you don't forget about your stuff. The best thing I can recommend to you is to go back in and daily, daily, or a few times a day, check your missions. Check your missions. Go into the play tab, go into programs, go into your first inning program, go into your daily moments, go into your team affinity, go into your play... Check it all, man. See what's updated. Tuesdays and Fridays are the main update days for the game. Uh, another thing that you can do, let me show you what I do here as I move my giant bag of cough drops out of the way. Uh, I've got a, a notebook that I keep right here, man. And when I'm working on multiple missions at a time, look, I know it's old school and uh, you know you can do it however you want. You can make notes on your phone. I do that for videos and stuff. So, uh, But if you want Write down how many stats you need, do tally marks, whatever. Do it old school. I do that all the time, and I've done it for years. Probably always will. So it doesn't matter how you do it. You do you. Figure out how what method works best for yourself. But these are ways that I've shown you to be able to help get through the XP program a little faster, earn more XP, and get those parallel cards done faster, man, because you guys saw... Those two super fractors are nice looking on that squad. We're going to have some more here pretty quick. So y'all do me a favor. As always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. What's down here? Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Peace.